Hello painters, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for a little bit more painting. And I've got a record and I thought today I would do a dip. I did a, a, dip, a dip painting just recently um, where I set out like a, a garden and put some plastic over the top and smushed it all about and it came out really pretty. And I thought, oh, I would like to do a beach. So today I've got some beachy colours. I've got all uh, DecoArt Americana paints. This one, oh, I need my specs for reading colours. This one is True Ochre. And then I have Warm Beige. And uh, this one might be a little bit bright for sand, we'll see. This one is Primary Yellow. And then of course I've got some Titanium or Snow White. I also have Blue Bird and True Blue and Laguna. So all of my paints are mixed up with Floetrol. In terms of my recipe, I kind of winged it a little bit. I put some paint in and then I added around 50% Floetrol. One or two of them needed a couple of little drops of water, but not very much. And then I've got small amounts of paint mixed up. So I only used one or two drops of the treadmill belt silica. This one here, I used one or two drops of that one per paint color. So they've been sat for a little while, so probably as I get them out, I'll need to give them a little bit of a mix-up. But I thought it would be nice if I put a little beach and a little bit of uh, white for the waves and then some sea and then some more white and who knows how it goes. So I will lay these colours out. Um, I've got my white pre-mixed up in a big bottle just here. And then we'll, I'll meet you back here for the smush with the plastic and we'll see what we can make today.
Okay, so I have all of my colours laid out and the, the mistake I made with the last ones, I had a lot too much paint. This time I've left a few more gaps, as you can see, so that hopefully when I squish it about, I won't get quite so much paint running together um, and I'll be able to keep the colours a little bit more separate, but we will see. So in terms of my plastic, I have just taken a couple of Ziploc bags, opened them out and um, taped them together so that I can get a large enough piece. So I need to just clear a few of these things away so I'm not making too much mess when I dip my plastic in them because I know I can be a bit messy. So let's see what we can get. I'm going to try and lie this down carefully without dragging it through the paint. Okay. So now I've got it on here, I can see hopefully where I need to just smush my paint about a little bit, fill up those gaps, and of course also push the paint out to the edge of the painting. Now because it's going to be kind of hopefully maybe in layers like this, horizontal, I'm going to try and smush the paint a bit more horizontal rather than in this kind of direction, but you know, who knows, we will see what happens. Hopefully I've got enough this time because, you know, I've, last time I had too much and so I've tried to do a bit less. And then, of course, there's always the, the risk that by doing less, I won't have quite enough. But I should at least be able to see through the plastic, hopefully, if I'm covering in most of these um, little gaps that I'd left. Let's see how we go here. I think it's going well so far. I can certainly see that I'm covering the, the edge anyway. And now I'm just going to kind of run my fingernails over it a little bit backwards and forwards. And let's do this beachy part. Make sure the paints are mixing together just that little bit. And coming off the edge of the board, I think we're good. And now I'll rub my fingernails through them, mix them up a little bit. Now where I've got this layer of white, I'm actually going to put my nail in the other direction and kind of see if I can zigzag the paint a little bit up and down to make the um, the effect of the the surf but who knows now before when I did a garden it was kind of obvious as to which way was up because the sky was up and so I lifted my plastic in an upward direction I think for a beach it wouldn't matter as much you could either have it so the sea was going out or the sea was coming in so I don't think it matters which way that I put my plastic today um, so which way shall I do it? Shall I pour it away from me or towards me? I think I'm going to lift it towards me this time as if the waves were coming into the beach. Of course, I'm gonna end up with a lot, of plus, um, a lot of paint. So let's see how we go with this lift and see what effect we get from the painting. Whoop. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. I think that has been gloriously successful. I am really happy. That looks lovely. I haven't got quite as much white um, in my area, kind of the surf area be between the sea and the beach that I was looking for. So probably if I were, do were to do this again, I'd put a wider band of white just there so that when I zigzagged it up and down, um, I'd left with a, a wider area. But I think it still works and I've got, you know, the 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 lighter, the green colour, the kind of lagoon colour closer, and then it gets progressively a little darker as it goes out. And I've got nice colours in the sand. I think it looked great. I'm really, really pleased, really pleased. Now I don't have any gaps, so that was good too. So let me bring the camera down and show you some of the lovely details. So this is the painting the right way up, assuming that you think the beach should be at the bottom. And wow, it is lovely. Look at those details absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this makes cells just so easily with the dip with the plastic when the the paints mix together and then you get that kind of slight swipey type action when the uh, the plastic lifts up it always gives such nice results really really nice. I think maybe the sea could have had a little bit more white in it but all over I think I'm very happy with how this came out and it definitely looks beachy so I would try this again I think this is going to make a lovely clock really really nice or it would just hang on the wall you know in a, in a beachy room and look really cool so I'm going to leave it here dry it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished 
So here it is finished and I have to say I think I may have fallen in love with this painting. It is so so pretty. The colours are just right, the, the feel is just right. It feels really beachy and I think it's going to look really good in my home or in someone else's home where they're looking for a, a kind of a beachy coastal or a nautical look. So, um, so far it's just got one coat of a spray varnish on there so I need to add a few more coats of gloss to this and then I think it will be finished and ready to go into my Etsy store. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you'll give this technique a try. Come over to our Facebook track chat group, there's um, a link for that in the drop down description under the YouTube video and I'll see you there and hopefully you'll share some of your dip paintings with me. See you soon.